Back at the book segment tonight, did you see that? And we begin with NBC News foreign correspondent Richard Engel, who made this statement about Sergeant Bergdahl's father, Robert. For a long time, he's been tweeting, calling for his son's release, calling on other hostages to be released. But then last week, there was an odd tweet that apparently came from Bob's account. It said, I am still working to free all Guantanamo prisoners. God will repay for the deaths of every Afghan child. Amen. The tweet was later deleted. The Bergdahl family has not commented on the tweet. And here now to explain further, Fox News anchor Martha McCallum. You see him with Hammer at 9 in the morning Eastern time. So I just want to get on the record all of these tweets mm -hmm. and, and all of this stuff. Let's start in Afghanistan. There are reports that Sergeant Bergdahl, after he deserted or left his base, mm -hmm. then put an email back or sent an email back to his guys? What did that say? What was that? Well, early on, I mean, basically, this is all part of the deeper story that's starting to come out here. Right. And it has been playing out in social media for some time, whether the White House likes it or not. And all of this is starting to pour out now. And one of the early things that he said, which was published in Rolling Stone several years ago, that he was disenchanted, that he felt that it was a disgrace to be part of the American military. And he said that to whom? He said it, it, was, he said it to one of his fellow soldiers, we believe, and it was reported in, in the Rolling Stones okay. several years ago. All right. um, to those emails that he sent to his father, uh, which were along the same lines, his father said to him, obey your conscience. What were those all emails? All in capital what, letters. What did those emails Those were the emails that say. said that he believed that the U.S. Army was the biggest joke in the world to laugh at, and I am ashamed to even be an American. Uh, and he was talking about the U.S. effort in Afghanistan. He was clearly disillusioned with it, and his father said, in all caps, Obey your conscience, and, and he left shortly after that. And how do we know that he sent that email to his father? How, who was reporting? It was that? documented by the Rolling Stone. So Rolling Stone magazine, which is a liberal icon, yeah. they did an article on this thing, mm -hmm. and that they said this all happened. That's exactly right. All right. Okay. Um, then the father, after his son is uh, missing, takes on an activist role. Absolutely. But it looks like he's sympathetic to. Mm -hmm the captors. His father learns Pashto. His father figures out early on that what the captors want is these Gitmo guys released. And so he begins to tweet about this and he and culminating in this one, which was just a week ago that yeah. he wrote this. So one of the questions that I asked about this is, you know, how much were, was the U.S. government in connection and communicating with the parents? Because they pulled this one down shortly thereafter. Well, somebody told them to get rid of it. Somebody no told them it. to get right. rid of it. He clearly said, as you saw reported by Richard Engel, that he was working to get all of these Gitmo prisoners released. Right. Very sympathetic to the cause. Uh, but of you can understand that if, you, if you're a father. And he knew that that was the key and right. he, he worked it. I but can understand that. None of this is, is revealed by the White House in this whole process. No. Either they don't have Google, they weren't tweeting anything, <laughs> uh, they don't seem to know what's going on in the social media but world they do because know there was one a thing, lot about McCallum. this story that they didn't seem they to be They know one out. thing and Susan Rice said uh, the sergeant served with honor. Yeah, Oof. well there's a ton of stuff on social media to Oof. dispute that. All right, Martha McCallum, fact or tip of the day, forcing American children to do something this summer. What could that be? The tip moments away.